All right, happy Saturday. I'm going to make four videos just to walk through the Excel spreadsheets that are going to be part of homework uh, that I'm going to assign. Um, doing part of this to try to time to see how much time it's going to take. I know it's a lot of work, so um, I'm going to try to make sure that I uh, measure it to see if it's reasonable. So um, I think I'll start with the easiest one, which is the crank slider here. All right, so I have uploaded a, um, a blank screen uh, or a blank Excel spreadsheet, very much like this one that you're seeing right here. And I'm going to use the uh, examples out of the book. So I think this one might be example uh, four, two, All right? So here are the inputs. I'll cheat by grabbing those and putting them to, into here. So here are the inputs. We want to create a spreadsheet that will uh, do the solution to this. So the equations that we had um, were, we took the arc sine of um, the uh, values of A times the sine of, whoops, I forgot to do, um, the, uh, over here, so I'll put it right there. It's going to give me something blank here in a second, but we will uh, fix that. All right, and minus C. Notice that it's minus, minus there. And I got to divide that by B. And this should be right right here. I forgot to uh, put this in here and go change this to radians. All right. And let me double check these values. Okay, yeah, uh, I need to turn that over. It's over to here. That's gonna give me an answer in degree, radians, I want degrees. So degrees right here. Uh, so we got the answer that we wanted. Here's the uh, possible other um, yeah, the possible other uh, distance or uh, angle that we would have. Um, so we're going to have equals uh, arc sine of negative. I, sometimes I have a trouble if I just put a negative in there. So I'm going to go negative one times. Uh, and uh, pretty much the same thing right here. Take the sine of uh, um, that right there and subtract out C and divide by B. And you could probably like zoom out all of this. And then we're going to add in a pi. Boom. And we'll just drag it on down. And we should have got the same thing that I got in a previous example. Yes, I did it right. Um, now we want for D, we're going to use um, A times, you know, because you could have this in front of you, well, how about I just screen capture some of these equations and put them right in here. So this is the uh, equations that you have available to you off of the note handout. And so I will put them into my... And make them smaller so we can actually see them. Okay, so this will make it make it a lot more sense, I think, uh, seeing what these look like. So this is the equation I'm putting in here, down here. A times cosine of theta 2 minus B times the cosine. And I'll use first this one right up here. And I believe that's it, right? And then um, I pretty much can do the exact same thing here. So I could cheat a little bit and highlight up here, copy it, and then paste it down here. It'll be the same, all the same stuff, except we want to drag that guy over there. That moves that uh, equation. I'm pointing to the screen with my finger. That doesn't make any sense. All right, so right here, 
we have um, the answers. Um, I should probably, okay, I don't need degrees down here. Okay, so here are the answers to the um, uh, e example. We, we could check this in the book and check here. Now we could plot this out. I could probably get rid of this and we'll plot it out. We know that uh, our anchor point is zero to, it's gonna be zeros all the way across for on that point. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna plot it in two spots. I'm gonna go the first one using uh, theta 3, 1 and D1, and then the next one using uh, theta 3, 2. Uh, so A, it should be the same thing. It's just gonna be, but we're, we're gonna be plotting this point. So that's gonna be A times the cosine of theta 2 equals equals a times the sine of theta 2 boom and uh, those are going to be the same thing I, I'll cheat by just setting those equal here and then uh, we, uh, we want to plot B point B uh, we can go a couple different ways on this I think, um, well, this is probably the smartest way because it makes the most amount of sense or maybe it's the most uh, easiest one right here. I'm going to add the X at A and then I'm just going to add whatever B uh, was going to be. So I take B times and now I want to go the cosine and regardless of what this would turn out to be, I'm just going to go and put it right in there. And notice that it's negative, which is uh, going to kill us that it's going to be over to the left. It's going to flop over to the left. And I'll do the same thing. Oh, I meant to do this first. Yes, that plus B times the sine of whatever this angle is. So, all right. And that seems a little high. Let's see. Um, yeah, okay. And let me double check what how my uh, previous example, yep. Um, no, I got negative. Ooh, what happened here? Does plus that, huh, okay. That's gonna be where B is gonna be, interesting. All right, so I've done something wrong here. Got to figure out what that is. Oh, I know. Okay. So um, we got to remember that this vector is negative right here. Okay. Um, and so it, the, the, this is not going to be the same thing. Like if this angle right here was actually from a horizontal going counterclockwise starting at A, what I just did would have been correct. Right now it's uh, incorrect. Um so what I can do, I guess I could go, really, I ought to go, if I'm going to follow a vector loop, I'm really starting here and moving over. So I'm going to have a point over here that I'm going to call uh, O2, O4, even though it's not a fixed thing. It's just going to be in keeping with uh, uh, those others. Um, take care of this right here. Okay, so uh, this right here, this uh, uh, dimension, uh, O4, is going to be uh, D over to the side, right? That's going to be the X position, and by default, it is zero right here. And the same thing is going to be true for over here. It's going to be D is in the X uh, dimension, whoops, and uh, uh, zero is the, um, is the, and is the Y uh, dimension. So here... I would add this plus, um, no, 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 it's going to be this. It's going to be, it's going to be directly over this. So it would be equal to that. And in terms of the Y dimension, it's simply going to be C. And the same thing going to be true right here. So what I can do is I can plot this out. Um, 
All right, so here, here's, I'm gonna, uh, uh, I'll fake this out so I don't have to mess around with it. I'll go use this plot right here, right here, and one of these is correct, the other one is incorrect. I'm cheating here and moving those over, okay? So here is what the, uh, the dimensions of this thing look like, or, or what would really help is to um, uh, make them so that they're symmetrical, so that they have the same amount of divisions right here. So uh, moving this thing over, um, I kind of plan it out. I could say uh, we have, I'll just go ahead and, that's not too bad, I guess. Uh, do that and that, and I'll make increments of, uh, no, I'll leave it as that. I'll leave it as increments of 10. So now when I come to here, I'm gonna make this increments of 10 as well. And if you're gonna to try to make it so that it was actually proportional, you would try to make all of those increments look squares. This is kind of a big one, so it's sort of stretching things out. Uh, maybe you want to crush it down a little bit right there. It's not crazy good for square, but what we're really doing here is we're just trying to um, uh, make sure that we have the dimensions of this right so that we can see what our results are, are going to be like. Um, I like to try to clean things up. I don't like the borders that show up like right here along this, so... I usually uh, get rid of those borders, but that's just me being nitpicky. And uh, we could change what these uh, uh, series names are going to be. Perhaps we would uh, uh, give it a title at the top and call one crossed and the other uncrossed open. But that's enough for now. We don't need to go much further here. So let me uh, let me end this video and uh, start a new one for the next problem. So that took uh, about 12 minutes with explanation.